The release of the new iOS 26.1 will mark the first big update to iOS 26 since its release back in September. Now this is an amazing new release with a lot of new features and changes. A lot of features we have actually been asking for like the ability to customize the look of the new liquid glass effect, the swipe gestures for the music app and a ton of other cool new features and changes. Now in today's video we're going to talk about this update but not about features but I will show you guys some really important things that I think you must do once you have updated your device to the new iOS 26.1. Now before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel, so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. Now we're starting things off with the update section. Now I know a ton of users have actually updated to the betas of iOS 26.1. Now if you have updated to any of the betas of iOS 26.1, you need to make sure that you're on the last one, meaning that you have the RC installed already on your device. Make sure you always go to the software update page here and make sure you have the latest update so your device is out of the beta. Now with the new Apple releases, we will have of course new releases very soon. Most likely we will have the first beta of iOS 26.2 in a matter of days. So you need to make sure that you have the updates for betas turned off if you don't want to continue updating your device to the betas of iOS 26, in this case, iOS 26.2. So if you no longer want to continue with betas, then make sure you go to the software update section and turn off of the betas right here for iOS 26 and you're good to go. Now, another thing you need to make sure to do here is that you have the automatic updates set here for security responses and everything else. Because in the meantime, as iOS 26.2 will go on betas and you're on iOS 26.1, most likely there will be smaller updates that will be released. Most likely iOS 26.2 will be released to the public somewhere like towards the middle toward or the end of December. In the meantime, iOS 26.1.1 should be released. So you need to make sure that you have your automatic updates turned on. That way you always get those latest small updates, but there are very important when it comes comes to security fixes and performance improvements for your device. Now, while you're here on the settings app, here's another thing very important that you must do. Head on to settings here under the general settings and go to the about section. Now, you don't need to do anything there. All you have to do is just open the about section after you have updated, of course, and make sure to stay there for like 10 to 15 seconds. That's because there might be a carrier update for your device. If there is a carrier update, which usually will happen after you have updated your iPhone to a new iOS release, then it will pop up on the screen right here as a pop up. All you have to do there is just tap install. It won't do anything like reboot your device or something like that. It will just install the carrier update in a couple of seconds. So that's very important. Always after a big update of your iOS device, make sure that you check for a carrier update as well. Now, when it comes to updating, one thing that you need to make sure you do is also update your apps after you have updated your iOS device. That's because a lot of apps will be releasing updates to their version of the apps once iOS 26.1 has been released. That's because of course they need to make sure that the app is compatible with the new iOS software release and there will be a ton of updates, especially from like bigger apps that are more popular and basically everyone uses on daily basis. So make sure you go to your account here on the app store and you have all of your apps up to date. Now you can do that manually, of course, or if you just don't want to bother with that, you can always head on to your settings, go right here under the app section, and then just find here the app store. There it is, the app store, and you will have here your automatic downloads. Just make sure you have app updates enabled for automatic downloads, meaning that you don't have to bother with updating any of your apps. Once an update is out for an app, it will actually install it automatically on your iPhone. 
Now, another thing you should check after you have updated your device to iOS 26.1 is the battery health of your device. Now, that's actually very, very important. Now, I've seen a lot of users asking whether updating their device to a new software release will just drop down the battery health of their device because a lot of times when you update your device, the battery health might drop by a couple of percentages, maybe even more, but that's not the case. That's why I say go ahead and check the battery health of your device. So let's just go here to the battery health. So what I mean here is that the maximum capacity is not updated regularly on iOS. Most of the time it will be updated only when you update your device to a new iOS software. That's because that is the time when the iPhone will basically recheck all of its components while of course updating and that time it will recheck the battery as well and will show you the true battery health. So let's say in this case I have this battery at 88%. It might stay like this for let's say a couple of months and then after I update my device it will show the true battery health meaning that it will probably drop like two or three percentages. Now why it is important why I think you should check this is that if you have a battery that's very low on the maximum capacity right here let's say it's at 81 or 82 maybe even 83 percent then after you update it might just drop under 80 percent meaning that your battery is not in good condition and your iPhone won't be working at its maximum capacity meaning that the iPhone will slow down and you will need to replace the battery. That's why I always suggest that after updating your iPhone, especially to a major release like iOS 26.1, you always need to make sure that you check the battery health and of course, make sure that it is over 80%. And last but not least, something I suggest everyone does every time they update their device. Now, it's good for you to do this regularly, but the time that you update your device maybe might be a good time for you to go ahead and actually check right here all the privacy settings, especially the ones that are really important. Your location services, take a look at the apps that have your location services access and make sure they are the right ones. You don't have any apps there that you don't want to have your location. And then go to the things here like the photos, of course, then you will have your media and then you will also have your Bluetooth here, your local network, which is really important. And then things like your microphone and your camera as well and speech recognition. These are things that are really important and some apps might have access to this even though maybe you didn't want them to have to but sometimes when setting up a new app we just go through the pop-ups really quick and you might allow something you don't want to. So now that you have updated your device maybe it's a good time to go ahead and check everything here and make sure that everything is set up as it should. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are a few really important things that I believe you must do after you have updated your device to iOS 26.1. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button and of course, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.